Now the next step after finding your industry code is to locate some trade associations. And I'm having you do that for a very simple reason. One of the ways to get a quick sense of what's happening in your industry, especially if you're not familiar with it, is to find trade associations and read their newsletters, read their um, annual reports, look for trade shows. They're actually an awesome way to find lots of weird, uh, precise information about what's happening in your industry. So in this step, what I want you to do is find the trade associations and then go on their on, on the website, on their website, and try to find whatever you can from there and keep a close eye for publications, trade shows, statistics. And if you're lucky, the trade association website will provide for a lot of information. We'll also use trade associations much later when we search for articles because you'll be typing the name I want you to type the name of the trade association in ProQuest to find articles like news articles that mention these trade associations because that's another great way to find um, uh, news about your industry by looking for articles from like the Gazette who talk about whatever trade association is related with what you're doing now let me give you a quick example of, of here's a quick example of, of, of why trade associations are awesome now believe it or not an easy way to find trade associations is through yes Google let's make that a little bigger and now so let's say I'm doing a pet store. That's going to be my running example in these different videos. So for pet stores, I would say pet associations. Oh, look at that. It's right there because I've done this search before on this computer. So the first one that comes up is the Pet Food Association of Canada, Canadian Association of Professional Dog Trainers, right? Humane Society of Canada, PJAC Canada, which actually is uh, the Pet Industry Joint Advisory Council. So yes, there is such a thing. And actually, let me click on that one because even though it's the third one from the top or fourth one, it's probably the more interesting one of the lot. So let me click here. This is an, a trade association. If you wanted, what you want to do with the first thing is to check out about them or about us and look at their history and mandate and board of directors, that kind of stuff. You want to look for the media, <coughs> the media information any kind of resources also, pet legislation, resources for businesses. These are exactly the kind of stuff that you could totally uh, suck into your business plan. Okay, this is the kind of information that you get. Another interesting part is the trade shows, right? They do a lot of trade shows and these trade shows could be a great place to, these just the websites, right? Look at that, there's one in, in Sherbrooke. Mississauga, Richmond, right? These trade shows will give you competi competition, will give you vendors, will give you the companies engaged in this industry, okay? So that's an example for the, the pet industry. Let me show you another page, which was really interesting. The Pet Food Association of Canada. So let's say your pet store, you know, part of your idea is to say, is to sell gourmet homemade pet food. Well, that's a trend in the industry because people pamper their pets and so somebody has to sell them stuff. So how do you make pet food? Are there laws or their regulations or their issues related to making pet food and selling it in a store well let's look at the trade association learn more about pet food importing and exporting so learn let's learn more about pet food industry really regulations it's right there right so trust me what you want to do as as the very preliminary steps of your research is check out trade associations if you're a restaurant, check out l'Association des Restaurateurs du Québec. If you're, anyways, any, actually, I'll show you one of my, another really awesome uh, trade association. The Brewers Association of Canada, right? So let me show you this, uh, this interesting, uh, this other interesting trade association, Brewers Association of Canada. This is the kind of stuff that you get from their website. If you go here under Beer in Canada, you get all sorts of, of information about how they're uh, promoting this product to the Canadian consumers. Of course, you're going to say, that's completely biased. I, can I use it? The answer to that is, it is a pr perspective on the information. They're, they have a, a take on how they present things, because obviously they have a mandate to present information about this topic in a specific way. Does, that doesn't mean you can't use it. It just means that you have to provide the correct context with regards to this information. So uh, here's maybe a simpler example. Let's go to Brewstats. This is a website created by this association to give you information about different things. So let me click here on monthly sales for domestic beer. And I'm just going to view, right, 
And look at that, I get a whole dashboard about sales from January. And I'm noticing here that cans constitute 44% of sales of beer. I did not anticipate that. So if you're a microbrewery and you wanna think about distributing your, your beer across Canada, well, cans are a good idea, especially you know if it's just before the summer, people probably drink more uh, beer in cans over the summer. And actually, you could verify that assumption by pulling the statistics that was January. So let's let's look at June, and let's view that. Oh, actually, it's not possible for 2013. So let's do 2012. Let's do last year in June. See if that changed. Uh, it's a little bit more, it's 3% more, 47%. Anyways, point here is you get the idea of the kind of information that trade associations can give you. So the, re the way that I recommend that you find them is you go to Google, right? Yes, this is a librarian telling you to go to Google. It'll, it won't happen often in this series of videos, but this is a case. And you could use whatever industry name that you find in the Nikes code. So for my case, it's pet. Okay, and then add in the words association in Canada. That's usually a good way to get these to come up from the Google search, right? So if you're doing uh, shoes, right? Of course, spelling helps. Western Shoe Association, Shoe Manufacturers Association of Canada, all these different things uh, come up, right? And we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about um, Industry Canada in a second. Okay, so that's to find your trade association. There's another way to find your trade association, so that you could go to their website and check out if they have any good information for you. It the other way to find them is to go and use a book called. Associations Canada. Yes, I know a book. It's in the paper. It's even a paper book, one of those old school paper books. And to find a book from the business search page right here, you would go to Clues the Library Catalog. Okay, it's it's actually using the search box will cross search all these different databases. But because this is a book and I know I'm recommending to you, you may just want to go to Clues the Library Catalog and type in here. Associations Canada, and that's the first record that comes up, right? If you click on the title here, you notice that we've received the 2013 edition, and we keep this book at the reference desk. So inside the physical library, you have to go to where you have librarians and staff waiting to answer your questions, right? And the reference desk is on the main floor of both libraries and both campuses. And you can actually ask for it by name because you you know we keep it under uh, close in hand because we use it all the time. So once you get your hands on that book, it's pretty thick. It's, it costs us about a thousand dollars a year. It's like the phone book for all trade associations. And you can ask for help with uh, my colleagues who will be at the desk when you visit us. And I actually may even be there when you when you go and visit the reference desk because I work there on rotation with my colleagues. So grab this book, and at the very beginning of the book, there's going to be a subject index. And so in there, you would look for shoe, pet, whatever manufacturing, whatever industry that you're uh, engaged in to find a list of trade associations. But in my experience, uh, Google searching flushes them out from the web pretty quickly because you know it's 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 a pretty good way to find them. So if if the Google searching doesn't work out for you, you may want to check out Associations Canada. And also, whenever you're reading any kind of information about your industry, anytime that you see the name of a trade association mentioned, you absolutely certainly want to keep. Uh, keep tabs of that, okay? So write down the name of the trade associations. And they're, they're so useful, right, that on the research worksheet under your dashboard, I actually have a space for you to record the trade associations right here, okay, under the Nikes codes and other synonyms for your industry or business, you actually have the trade associations. And they're important because not only do they give you information straight from their, webs from their website, so please check them out, but also because you'll use these the name of the trade association to write it down in ProQuest to find articles about your industry because chances are if uh, if you're if if somebody's talking about PJAC Canada chances are they're talking about the pet industry all right so that's the second step in the in the search pr protocol which is to find your trade associations and squeeze their website dry of any business information that you could find Okay, so I'll stop now.